Well, joining us now in Glasgow is Janie Godley. She was at the scene of the crash just after it happened. Janie, what did you see as you reached the crash site? Um, it was just pretty, uh, very much a surreal carnage. There was people lying on the actual cross between St Vincent Street and George Street. And in the background, we had the fairground lights all swinging around. And it was such a surreal view. And there was people getting triage on the floor, on the ground. The, the emergency services were there. And on the left, on the right-hand side, on George's Street, there was traffic. You know those poles that tell you where you can park? Those were actually flattened properly into the ground, so whatever took it by force, we now know as the bin lorry, had flattened them and came right onto the pavement. And there was people getting CPR just there on the street. But the police asked people to move, and they did. It was very well handed, handled by the emergency services. And, I mean, could, how quickly did you manage to work out what on earth was going on? Did you also possibly believe it was a terrorist attack initially? Not at all. Never believed for a minute it was a terrorist attack. I immediately knew it was a road accident. Um, it's not the first thing that comes to my mind. And when I saw the, the traffic and the, the way the traffic had been stopped and the debris on the street, you can tell that it's been a car smash. There was pieces of vehicles all over the street and you could see the traffic poles flattened. And what was amazing was that the ordinary Glaswegians, who I'm very proud of, immediately they went and told the traffic to stop. Everybody was helping, staying out the road and letting the emergency services get on with their work. It now was quite you, shocking to see, actually, but I walked away, so I'm, I'm the lucky one. You, you've been um, sort of around on the streets of Glasgow since. Um, yes. How are people taking it? Has it caused considerable shock or has it been localised to where it happened? It's been considerable shock throughout, John. I was walking throughout the shopping centres today and I just went a walk. I didn't know what else to do. And everybody, you could overhear people talking about it. You could see people explaining to their children why they couldn't go into George's Square. And as James says, the amazing George's Square is the, the cultural central and it's our heart of our city. So this has happened right in the heart of our own city. But people are very quiet. There is, there is a sense of quiet over Glasgow 